<laughs> we don't have these things in dog <laughs> Just pour the gravy, I'll say when to stop. Just pour 
for the gravy, I'll say when to stop. Thank you, folks.
is love just anywhere in the world. And this next song is how they do it up in Alaska. It's called the Eskimo Love Song. Ooga Ooga Mushka. <laughs> Well, the doctors 
they told him he might not live at all. <laughs> all he ever talked about, who's gonna feed them hogs? Four hundred hogs, just standing out there. My wife can't feed them, my neighbors don't care. They can't get out and roam around like my old hunting dog. Oh, 
Owen. I get to kiss the bride. You know me, I'm scared. Take little freedom. Be your lawfully wedded wife. <laughs> Does you win? Take Romeo to be your husband. I do. I pronounce you husband and wife. Now it's time to kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> now I throw in a couple of love songs by the most famous singers ever come to this dog patch. Y'all get on. They're the most famous. Love seat. You don't have to say love seat now. Judson. Y'all be nice and romantic on the island of Lucy. The first song we'd like to do for these two couples has got some real good advice in it for them.
speaking of happily wed now, hopeful. That's what these fellas are. So don't get your hopes up, but get on. <laughs> well, wed anyway. <laughs> We're so happy to be here from Flatland, the Beer and Dog Patch, and the Harmony Grits Quartet. One of the greatest things that can happen is for four guys that love the same get together. Four guys? When four guys that love the same get together and uh, and they, uh, just that fellow When four men get together that love to sing and practice and just harmonize, it's just, it's just something really great when a quartet gets to sing together. And it's just one of the most exciting things. And, uh, just, we're just, now, just, just over there. That's it, did I say? You only had three up there. That's what I'm trying to say. How many do you see up there? How many do you see up there? Three. Well, them senators count funny anyway. Well, uh, we had four when we started. Uh, Wait a minute. Let's see, see if I can find somebody out there that looks I like them. Well, he looks bald enough to do this. Uh, come up here. Right. Come on up here. Rosie O'Grady and Rosie O'Grady 
Where? 
but it won't do her no good. I'm the only married man in these parts. I'm the only one that can marry somebody. And the person that can't marry herself, not even in dog patch. Yep, that's right. Even I, with all my spiritual powers, can't marry up nobody. Only a man of the clock or the governor of this here state. And he's the only man of the clock, and he can't marry himself. And the governor of this here state ain't nowhere near this here state. <laughs> handed me this proclamation from the governor just before he left. <laughs> I think it might be the answer. And it says, listen closely, whereas I, Bill Clinton, temporary governor of this here state, <laughs> has been called against my will and stated purpose to seek office of president of the United States. And whereas temporary governor Jim Guy Tucker has been temporarily incapacitated by an overwhelming case of political ambition, <laughs> I hereby appoint the Honorable Green County State Representative, Kim Woolridge, governor for a day. <laughs> now, listen up. In the event that temporary Governor Tim Woolridge should be called out of state to solicit funds for that fine institution, Crowley's Ridge College. <laughs> I hereby bestow the highly abused medal of governor on this here state, on whichever poor devil happens to be reading this here property. <laughs>
Bill wants to talk to y'all a little bit. Please give her a hand for helping us out with this. Have you had a good time? <laughs> Would you come back again if we did something like this? <laughs> what do you think about Barbara Wilkins' food? <laughs> there are two other names on this program that need special recognition. That's Kathy Rowe, who's, who has uh, chaired this project and all the other things that she's done, the costumes and so forth, and Becky Woolley, who wrote the script and directed the show. Please give them a special... Do we have talent in WCRC? <laughs> well, thank you all for coming. If by any chance you slipped in without paying, don't slip out without paying. <laughs> Dr. Hobby had such a good time, he fessed up that they hadn't paid. They paid <laughs> uh, I have the, the final bids on the items at the back, and so I'm going to read your name. If, if, you, if you have the last line on here, you owe me money for these things. Now, if there was an item back there that did not get bid on and you want it, well, bring it up to the front and we'll negotiate a prize. But here's who, and if you need, uh, if you or taking home any items and need to pay for them. I mean, if you fill out one of these little shopping lists that are inside the program, you'll know how much you owe all total and you can just pay me as you go out the door. Um, the matching covered basket and photo album and stuffed duck, Ray King, got that for 350 so you can write that down. The Arkansas Bob War back set back there, Al Crandall, $6. The pillowcases, the hand-worked pillowcases, Sue Gallagher, $5. The candy assortment, Sue Gallagher, $3. The two red pillows, Sue Gallagher, $5. That's dirt cheap, Sue. You ought to pay more than that. We'll negotiate that at the door. <laughs> we'll let her out for less than 10 uh, The muscadine jelly made by Priscilla Hobby, Ferris Haynes. You got that for $2.75. Ferris, you also got the berry jelly in the basket, $3.75. And Ferris, you got the sachets in the basket for $5.25. Now, Ferris, you're writing these down, right? <laughs> and Ferris Haynes got my peanut brittle for $5. $5, I'll make anybody here that wants a, a, a <laughs> recipe of peanut brittle, you just tell me. Okay, Alice Templeton, get out your pen. You've got several things here. You have the wooden wreath with the duck on it for $6. You have the decorated basket with the white cloth bunny for $5. You have the basket of stuffed animals, rabbit, calico, cat, and dog for $8. And you have the white stuffed rabbit for $3. She must be a rabbit. Oh, Alice also has the large round mauve padded basket for $13. Teresa Wood, you have the tea dyed stuffed bunny for $3.75 and the sourdough bread for $1.75. Janice Crum, you have the wooden bunny with the stuffed print arms and legs for $1.50 and the patriotic apron for $5.50. Jane Brown, you have the candy orange something. What is that? Um, anyways, 350. I think you know what it is. I can't read it. Monzel Clifton, you have the grapevine wreath with the yellow flowers for a dollar. I might argue with you on that one too. We didn't put a starting bid on that. Judy Wilkins, you have the bunny hanger for five dollars. And that's it. Now we still have those new vegetable scrapers back there for 350 they were going fast but they make great gifts and we have some other rated cutlery we have the cookbooks so i'm going to be at the table if you want to pay for anything on the way out i'll be there to help you thank you for coming please come again